Hi, it's Kelly back from the County Grant Public Library with number five, Craft Projects to Go. Uh, this is a string art, and it'll be for Christmas, or you can winter, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to do a string art tree. Trees are generally a, a nice object to do. Um, adding the stars just makes it a little bit more Christmassy, so you don't have to add the stars, it's entirely up to you. And you don't even have to add the stencil. So I just thought it was nice. So you're going to stencil first. You're going to get a blackboard. It's going to come black already painted for you. And you're going to get a pattern with the placement of the nails. Okay? So I would do my stencil first. And again, if you've never done stencils, you start with a nice dry brush. Don't do a lot of paint on it. I'm just going to do it on a piece of um, paper for the moment just because then it will speed up the process. So line it up nicely on the bottom of your board or wherever you're going to put it. It's your project. If you want to put it down the side, that's up to you. So just dab. Don't have a lot of paint. You can add more paint. And if you want to um, tape down your stencil, that's okay too. Just be careful you don't go over the edge. That's my biggest mistake is I get a little bit rammy sometimes and I go over the edge and then I have this little blob and once the paint's there you can't get rid of it unless you paint over it again. So you're going to do your stencil, airy and bright. It's going to look much better when it's in the black. Let it dry before you start putting your nails on. So to do your string art, the best way to do it, this is a, just a little board. Yours is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be the same size as this one. So you're going to place your pattern on the board. And you can see the placement of your nails. You're going to put nails in each one of those spots. And then when you get all your nails in, just pull up the paper. Okay? I've got my started just for easy videotaping, I guess. So these are just cute little nails. You're not going to get a hammer with your kit, so just go borrow one from your husband. Or if you're like me, you've got several little ones in my workshop. Okay, the big trick is try to get the nails straight. Do not hammer your fingers. And all the same height. Try to get them all the same height. Sometimes you even just go back and kind of feel them with your fingers. You're going to do that for all your nails and the placement of that. And then pull up your paper and you're good to go for that. Okay? Try to keep them straight. So with this kit, you're going to get two different colors of thread, two different colors of green thread. The big, tr and the big trick for a string art is to keep the string tight, okay, as you're doing it. So if you only want to work with a small piece, do that, okay. So I've tied them off. I've tied them off at the bottom, and you're going to work in a zigzag pattern. I've kind of got it on your pattern, kind of the idea of what you're going to do. Okay, so you're just going to work in a zigzag pattern. And as you're pulling it around, pull it tight. Okay? And you don't have to use this, all the nails, the first one, because you've got two strings. Okay? And that's the worst thing about embroidery floss, is it separates. So as you can see, I'm starting to do it in a zigzag pattern. Sorry, I've got that upside down. So you're going to do the dark green or the light green, whatever you choose, first, and then switch to the other one. Make sure you use all your nails when you're done. And to finish it, you're just going to strictly tie it off on one of the strings, on one of the nails, sorry. Just so tie it off tight. So the biggest thing is holding your string tight. Go back and forth. If you want to zigzag back and forth, and then do random ones, feel free to do that as well. If you want to add another uh, color of thread, you can put like a nice white one if you've got it at home. And just do it like it's some um, tinsel on your tree. So then you've got some stars will be included in your kit. Sorry, I haven't got this one done. So you're just going to add a couple stars, paint them white. So when I cheated and I used just a gel pen to do little stars, but with your white pen or white paint, just do little dabs, actually not with that, with a pencil. Get a pencil, dab it in your paint, and just do nice little dots. Then it'll just look like little stars anyway. 
this is a fun project. Take your time doing it. It sometimes is frustrating to do a string art, but it, the results are lovely. Have a good day. Thanks.